Entering transactions in Bank Services version 5.6 has been significantly enhanced, beginning with a streamlined bank rec process that includes a single window reconciliation. So rather than jumping from tab to tab to tab, you've got one tab and one click to reconcile your transactions. This includes as well quick clearing options, the ability to filter your transactions, and right from the bank reconciliation window, the ability to view your GL balance from the GL. In addition to this streamlined bank reconciliation process, the OFX process hasn't changed, but the OFX reconciliation window has been updated to reflect the way transactions are entered in Bank Services version 5.6, and there have been some performance improvements in terms of speed and processing when you're reconciling using OFX. Let's take a look at these changes in the bank rec function in Bank Services version 5.6. So I'll open up the Reconcile Statements window, and right away you'll notice that there's been some significant changes to the Reconcile Statements window, starting with the bank code and visibility of the bank account number. The bank code, if you've defined a default bank account in the setup of bank services, in setup options, with the ability to define a default bank account now, the default bank account will automatically appear there. The default bank code will automatically appear when you open up this Reconcile Statements window. For users that don't know what bank code relates to what bank account number, you now have visibility of the bank account number that's been defined in the setup of the bank account. You can enter a reconciliation description. And then on the Summary tab, the left-hand side of the tab here, the Bank Statement area, hasn't changed. You still enter your statement date and your statement balance. What has changed is the Book Balance side, the right-hand side. It's now labeled General Ledger. You can enter your reconciliation date and year and period for your reconciliation. That still operates the same way. You have reference to the book balance that's been reported in Bank Services. When you click on the Zoom button next to the book balance, it gives you a summary of how it's calculated that book balance, so your outstanding deposits and your outstanding withdrawals, and it tells you what your book balance is in Bank Services. But something unique here, it gives us the ability to view our GL bank account balance. So this is coming from the general ledger. A couple of things to note about this, though, is that the GL bank balance that's being reported here relates to the GL account that's defined on that bank code. So if I flip over to the setup of the bank account, and I look at my CCB bank, the GL account that's defined here will be the number that's being shown, will, will be the GL account bank balance that's being shown on the Reconcile Statement on the Summary tab. And that's important to note because if you have multiple bank accounts in Bank Services reporting to a single GL account in the GL, the GL balance here is going to be off from your book balance. If you have multiple bank accounts all hitting one GL account, you're only going to see that one GL account balance there. So whenever you're reconciling an individual account, you're going to see the total balance of that GL account. So it's got to be a one-to-one -one relationship, one bank account to one GL account. Second thing is, of course, the GL works on a batch processing system. So if you ha don't have all of your batches posted and your, your transactions posted, relating to that bank account, then the balance here is going to be slightly off. But even with those two cautions, this is a great way to see whether your bank balance in the GL reconciles or matches the balance that's showing at the subledger bank services level. Another thing that's changed on the Summary tab is we have the ability to see bank entries that haven't been posted. I can click on the Go button here and I can automatically post those entries. The entries function, or entering bank entries, is now a separate function from reconcile statements. You can still record entries at the same time as doing your bank rec, but it does get entered as a separate transaction entirely. So you can see here, we're, what we're showing on the general ledger side here is our bank entries that haven't been posted, and we have the ability to post them on the spot here or on the fly. When I go on to the reconciliation tab, You'll see here, this is where the bulk of the changes have taken place to streamline the bank rec process in bank services. There is now a single screen or a single tab that we go to to perform our bank rec. And we're seeing all transactions here. So we don't have to go to separate tabs for our withdrawals, for our deposits, and for our entries. We can do everything from a single tab. 
and we can actually sort those transactions by date or by number. So if I'm sorting it by date and I'm looking at all my transactions, this should technically follow the, the bank statement on a transaction line by line basis. But we can also filter transactions to show withdrawals only or deposits only, and we can display outstanding transactions or reconcile transactions. We still have the quick clearing function as we did in, in the previous versions. However, now, because we're reconciling both withdrawals and deposits on the same page, you need to choose what you're clearing here using the quick clearing function. And again, just to review what the quick clearing function allows you to do, is it allows you to reconcile multiple transactions at the same time, so long as they follow the transaction sequence here. So if you're clearing, for example, a range of EFT checks from payroll, you could put in the starting check number and the ending check number, and you can choose that you're going to mark those transactions as cleared, and then you hit process and all those transactions will be cleared. To reconcile individual transactions, you can see the list here. You've got withdrawals and you've got deposits and you've got your drill down functionality so you can always drill down to the corresponding transaction, whether it was entered in bank services or AR or AP or payroll. You can always drill down to the original transaction now. There's still the reconciliation status column and to clear a transaction, you simply select cleared or you can clear with an error or a, or a write-off. There's been some changes to clearing with the bank errors and to clearing with write-offs. What'll happen if you're clearing with a, with a bank error is it'll take the error amount, the difference amount, and it'll put it in another period, in the very next period, to allow you to reconcile that when it happens. But I can go ahead and clear my transactions here as necessary. One thing that has changed is for our deposits, we're now in version 5.4 and 5.5. .5, we had the ability to reconcile individual receipt entries within the deposit, but now we are clearing the entire deposit batch itself or the deposit entry itself. We have the ability to click on the details button down on the bottom where I can see the details and I can drill down on the individual transactions, but I can't clear individual transactions anymore on a deposit. And finally, Entering bank transactions, bank entries, is done using the bank entry button here. So it's no longer a separate tab. I can click on bank entry here and I can record my bank entry and I can post it right away or I can just add it to my bank reconciliation. We're entering on the bank entry tab, we're entering both withdrawals and deposits. I can't select this right now because again in bank services version 5.6 in setup options we have the ability to define a default distribution code. And so you can see my distribution code is already there so I can simply remove that line and I can say here that I'm entering a withdrawal or a deposit. I can select my payment type so we can track that now in bank services and I would enter my details. In addition to the distribution codes which were previously called transaction types in version 5.6 or you can just uh, simply enter your GL account number here. You can also select the distribution set and when you select the distribution set and you hit create distribution it adds in those multiple lines of detail for you. So again if you set up your default amounts and you set up your distribution set with your monthly or your routine transactions it saves you having to key those in one line at a time here. When you're finished doing your reconciliation there is a totals tab that lets you view your totals for your cleared withdrawals and your cleared deposits. But the process now still remains the same. You would come back to your summary tab. You would see whether you're out in balance or not. Transactions or reconciliations that are out of balance again will not post. Once you're in balance and you've saved that reconciliation, you would then post it using the post reconciliation tab. And the final thing to note about the reconciliation function is, again, the, the, the actual method of reconciling using OFX hasn't changed. You still import your statement, and then you come over to reconcile OFX statements, load up the, the, the OFX transactions that you've entered, and you have the system doing your matching for you, or you can manually clear individual transactions, or you can record transactions as bank entries. What has changed, though, is you have the ability to match deposits by perhaps a deposit slip number, or a transaction number. And the actual process of OFX reconciliation performance has improved in version 5.6. And that's it for the reconciliation process itself.